Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Nosy Housefrau here in my pajamas. I knew that was going to be fun. Anyway, it's been a long day, but I wanted to vlog because... <coughs> Just kidding, I've been dying to use that clip. <laughs> so this morning, I'm having my morning coffee before work, and... I see Mango Tea has a video out. It seems Mango Tea has exposed himself. Just kidding. We want to make that clear in these litigious times we live in. So the video opens up and oh, there's my friend Metamorphosis Rocks. The name on everybody's lips is gonna be Metamorphosis Rocks. So the video goes on and there's Tawny. And then all of a sudden, whoa, back up. Who is that lovely, mysterious lady? <laughs> Always do your makeup, people. You never know when you're going to wind up on someone else's video. That's life in the drama world, in the drama lane. You know, I keep saying I don't need any kind of success on YouTube beyond what I feel I've already accomplished, and it's all a matter of perspective, right? It's not something you can prove. It's just something you know. And uh, at the same time, you know... <laughs> I can't help it if cream floats to the top, okay? I'm drawing people to me. I'm just drawing people to me. <laughs> and you know, Rox, I couldn't help but notice that um, you weren't in the video as long as I was. I think I was in the video a little longer. I mean, it's not a competition. It's not. I mean, if it was, I won, but it's not. It's not a competition. <laughs> Kind of like our friendly competition that we're going to have with our 20-pound weight loss. You go, girl, and set those rules. Smart money's on me, though. <laughs> I already have thinner lips. Now, I would like your opinion on something. Uh, Mango T had been tweeting, you know, for the record, and this is to paraphrase, but he did say, I never had her mugshot. And he's been correcting people on saying that he had his mugshot. And I wasn't sure where he thought he heard that. But I'm going to play for you the clip he used from my channel. And then I'm going to play for you the clip as it was in context. The part of that exact sentence that he cut out. And you tell me if you think something potentially unethical has been done. Tawny Michelle, very upset and emotional over a clip from Mango T saying that, well, if she really wants to go there, they can go there with uh, her mugshot. It was Tawny Michelle, very upset and emotional, over a clip from Mango T saying that, well, if she really wants to go there, they can go there with uh, her mugshot. Now, he, or saying he had a picture of her mugshot. She posted the mugshot. Oops. Looks like that part where I corrected myself wound up on the cutting room floor. Now, in your opinion, did he leave that part out because the pause made it awkward? It wasn't as good of a clip to use? I'm trying to see how that would be okay. But I can't imagine myself using a quote like that and not feeling an obligation to put in the part where the person clearly states what they meant. I'm sorry. I get tired. I'm older. I have, you know, the, not the same faculties that I used to have. And sometimes I get brain fog and I have to correct myself. The way that I can put out more content is to not have everything be so perfect like it's the Today Show. So sometimes I'm going to stumble. I might um, I might have to repeat myself. I may have to correct myself. But I, I really try hard not to do that. The point is, I can't wrap my brain around how he felt comfortable misquoting me in a sense. That is a misquote because unless you put in that whole sentence, you're giving the impression that I said something else. And wasn't he complaining in that very video about being misunderstood from things being taken out of context? So I'd really like to hear your opinion on that. Because to me, that's, what's the technical term? Weaselly. It's right there on Google with a picture of a weasel. Anyway, it seems weaselly to me. It does. But, you know, if you don't just, if you don't agree with me, that's okay. You can put that there. I'm not going to delete your comments unless you're inappropriate. And speaking of deleted comments, I would be really remiss if I didn't tell you that while I was preparing for this video, I went on Mango T's video where I wholeheartedly believed my comment had been deleted, the correction about the account, amount of subs that Dustin Daly had. I don't know if you saw it, but I mentioned it in another video that 
he got his amount of subs wrong. And I felt it was a very benign comment and it was gone and all the stuff. And I went there today and there was the comment. <sighs> I was wrong. I was wrong 100%. I really thought that comment wasn't there. And I and I checked for it. You know how you go to a, a, a channel and your comments are at the top even if other people have commented? Well, the other one I did, I don't know if you do this, but I tend to do like sometimes two. I'll comment, you know, in between or whatever, however many I feel. Um, hopefully that doesn't cause any restraining orders on Rich Lux's channel. But <laughs> so I'll put like two or three comments and, you know, if, if things come up as I'm watching. But uh, not not spamming. I try to keep it to two. But in this case, the, the one that I thought was deleted should have been right next to the other one because they were one after the other. And the other one was liked or hearted and then it was just gone. And I, I went up and down the page and went by time and that sucker was gone. And then I went back today and there it was. So I have to apologize for that because I was 100% wrong that comment was there. And I hope that underscores the fact that I feel an obligation to the truth. I'm not going to smear somebody with lies. That's not what I'm about. I want to look at things objectively and, and see what is true. And I will say that that did irk me. I saw that it is him being far too thin skinned. That had a lot to do with that. I still feel that way. <laughs> so let's continue with, uh, something else that I thought was interesting about this video. This video didn't make me mad, by the way, and I don't care if people put me in their videos. I really don't. But I couldn't help but notice <laughs> that all of the people that he used, and he just kept saying, they, 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 lumping everybody together with this hasty generalization to the point where I had somebody come to my channel, they, they found me anyway, and said, um, you people, <laughs> like they left a comment that said, you people. Whenever anybody says anything to me like, you people, or, you know, some kind of generalization, conversation's over. You've already lost because I'm not a you people. I'm just one house brow. So if you can't address me as an individual, you've lost your argument. You have to take people on a case by case basis. This thing, these waters are already muddy enough without lumping everybody in together. And I've never met or spoken to or known of Jen Gerard anywhere in my life. But he said all of these drama channels did that. And maybe I'm a tiny insignificant channel, but he saw fit to put my work in his video, which brings me to my next point. Do you think it's unethical that he did not tag any of the channels, did not uh, link anybody in there? Now you could say he did it because he didn't want anybody to get hate, <laughs> but do you really think that's the reason? Or is it because all of us Poor slob channels are just trying to ride on the shoulders of giants and just social climbing. Because what could be more impressive at parties than a 50-year-old woman saying, and by the way, I'm a successful vlogger. <laughs> Ooh, I would wow the crowd. So all of us, you know, slobs trying to, to uh, ride on his coattails because he never got his channel started by talking about anybody else. All of us are unworthy of him linking our channels. He can use our work, but he can't link our work or give people credit for the work that he used. I'm not going to false flag anybody ever pretty much. I mean, you'd have to like put me into something horrific for me to do that. But a lot of people would say that using people's clips, whether their channels are small or large, because remember, it does not determine the value of a person. You're not better than other people if you have more subs. It seems like people are forgetting that. And it's it makes me wonder how different YouTube would be if people didn't have uh, money and fame involved. So to some people, not naming people in your video, that is a serious no-no. In fact, I'd say, what's the technical term? Yeah, that's a dick move. Right there with a picture of a weasel. Oh, wait, no, that's a dick. That totally makes more sense. So one of the reasons I think I felt generous in spirit about this whole thing is that I, I, so many of us are just ready to let go of it anyway, because if it's going to get better at all, it would take time, but there's just more confusion and more confusion. And, and if people ask tough questions, those tough questions don't get answered and then certain things get ignored and then the, con the conjecture only is addressed. So I don't know. I, and also here's the thing. I don't know what it's like to have this many people angry with me or poking at me as he said that they were doing. So 
not knowing how that feels or what that would do to me, um, I really can't judge the way he beha behaved. However, when it comes to Tony, I can. And this is the reason I think I will just wish Stephen Mango luck and fade away. Because he never really tells you why he blocked her on Twitter. He says she was talking about him for weeks. He, he had said on Twitter that she was tweeting about him for three weeks. I couldn't find one tweet. And she doesn't delete her tweets. So where was this tweet? See, he, and he also was defending it, his uh, you know distance from Tawny by saying that they were coming at me. I had people coming to me saying she's going to do this and she's going to do that. Well, that's just you admitting that you judged her on hearsay. So I didn't like that very much. But what was worse was when he said she was manipulating her audience and she chose to cry on camera. That really bothered me because so many people, myself included, gave Stephen Mango the benefit of the doubt. Why is he not willing to do that with her when she so clearly was hurt by being blocked? When, you know, and, and saying that she's manipulative because she cried on camera? I'm not going to insert the clip here because it was such a sensitive scene that I would feel wrong for, for bringing this up. But how would you feel, Stephen, if Scientology said that about you crying in your video, it's not okay? after you left Scientology. I'm not okay. And I'll put that link below so people can see that for themselves. I'm not going to put the clip here because it just feels too exploitive of a private moment. Even though it's a public video, you were sobbing uncontrollably. And there was no reason you had to put that in your video. And that's exactly what you're saying about Tawny crying in her video, that her tears were fake. You've put your own tears on camera, but you are set, held to a completely different standard. That's how I see it. And that is, you know, to me, a lack of empathy. It's funny, just today as I was thinking I was ready to wash my hands of this, all of this silliness, I saw Tawny post a tweet to that same effect saying, forget it. I forgive him. You know, I just, I'm going to forgive him. I, I just need to let this go basically is what she was saying. And I thought, you know what? I don't really care either. I don't care anymore. So I'm going to move on to greener pastures and wish everybody well. Best case scenario, we all get old and sick and die. And some of us don't even get the privilege of getting old before that happens. So why waste time? <laughs> uh, sometimes you're just at an impasse and that's all it is. So you have to move on. You have to, you know, at some point say that this is counterproductive. And I've said everything I can say on it. I've made all the points I want to make unless anybody comes at me directly and I, and I feel a need to respond. I'm really not going to at this point. If you're with me this far, I so appreciate you. And I will see you next time. As always, I don't speak for everyone, just everyone who wants to be right. So saith a housefrau.